Hey guys, Captain Foley with you. How you doing today? So today is all about my officer's lounge for my refit. Um, as some of you know, if you watch all my videos, yesterday I got a interesting surprise in the mail from a friend of mine, and um, I'll show, let show you that just right now. So here it is. Here um, I covered up his address, uh, William T. Man. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, on YouTube, so. He sent this to me, and it's really cool. It's got the Starfleet, uh, United Federation of Planets logo, and Starfleet Engineering. And also, he and his friend William Gulliver have Gulliver Scale, scale Modeling, which is what I'm getting my lighting kit for uh, from for my refit. But I got this in the mail, and um, I don't care if you see my address. You can, by all means, mail me stuff. That'd be cool. I'd love to do a, an opening of... Anything you send me on camera, that'd be cool. But as you can see, there's a fate outline on there, on that um, envelope of the refit, which I thought was really cool. Now let's get to what's inside. Open her up. And there we go. All right, so I got a sheet full of decals. Um, all different sizes, all all the enterprises, United Federation of Planets symbols, the Starfleet Delta, a whole bunch of cool stuff, some nebulas, and as you can see, I've already, I got overly zealous last night. I should have done this for you guys on camera, and I apologize. Um, you should have seen how I what I did, but I got I was sitting here last night, kind of bored, and thought, why not? try it out and throw them on and so as you can recall if you checked out my other video about the officer's lounge there's that blank wall um which i now no, no longer have blank there it is i gotta do some trimming of the decals sorry about that so yeah um i put the big ufp logo there which i think looks cool and it's probably something they would have there and as you can see on the back there, this side, I, re re I removed the um, decal of the warp engine, the warp nacelle. Because I thought it's really stupid to have a warp nacelle thing there when you can just look at these back windows and see the actual warp nacelles. So I put a nebula there, which the light will shine through it. Hold on here. focus and when I put it in the saucer and kind of did an experiment with it, it looked kind of cool I left the other nacelle in there just for purity's sake just as kind of like I know that it was supposed to be in the cell here but I think it looks much better like this I'm debating on putting other other decals in make it look too cluttered maybe but I want maybe one above this couch here of the uh, original Constitution class ship like that size right there would be good or possibly the cluster of them who did the cluster for me there so I don't know what if, if I'm going to um, put anything on the side walls there but actually I, I appreciate your input on that what do you guys think should I put something above that couch um, or possibly a little delta on this side. Maybe this side is, would be too much. But over here above the couch I think might be nice. So I just want your opinion on it. That's my officer's lounge. And I've got a whole ton of cool decals now for other projects down the road. So thank you very much, William Man. It's much appreciated. And uh, it's really cool that you can print off decals. So anyway. Um, so like I said, I think it looks pretty good. Um, these guys are making my lighting kit for me. It should be here very soon. And uh, they're they're being really good to me. They're going to help me through this build. They're great guys, and I'm glad I met them. And I, I have nothing but good things to say about them. So uh, thank you guys once again. And um, now let's take a look at it in the saucer. See how it looks. So here I have it in the saucer, and I got a light behind it. 
so you can see kind of bathes all that in a nice glow and you got stuff down there too you're not going to see very well with the window in there but you can't really see it on here I'm trying to focus it you can't really see the nebula um, in person you can you can see the nebula in person but it gives a nice glow to um, all in there and I think it's gonna look pretty good what do you guys think I think I might put something on that wall behind that couch because from certain angles you might be able to see it depending on what kind of glass I'm using I don't know if I'm gonna use the plastic that comes with the kit or if I'm going to um, get better glass that will be see-through that you can actually see this stuff because that would be cool but there you can see it without the light too so very cool. I'm very impressed with that UF, UFP logo. That's awesome. Thanks, William, man. So there you have it, guys. My completed lounge and uh, almost completed our Arboretum. I need to get the Paragraphics um, photo etch to the, for the sides here for the walls because they have the doors and whatnot on those. Um, other than that, it's pretty much done. I might uh, dull coat it because it's kind of shiny. But, yeah, I don't want to do all the... Um, putting uh, fake grass in and bushes and stuff. I don't want to go ahead and do that. I want to keep this because you're hardly going to see it and I kind of like the job I did on it. So so there's the two parts so far. Um, lounge and Arboretum. Arboretum will be finished soon hopefully and the lounge is now complete. Unless I put another decal above that couch which I just might. So looking for your input guys. And I also need your input on uh, something else. Should I use the plastic glass um, windows that come with the kit? Or is there something, an alternative, which is more clear? Because I know once you put the kit ones in, you kind of lose a lot of detail. and Like, you can't see through them very well. So I don't... I kind of like to show off my work. And I don't want to necessarily um, hide it. So I don't want to put in windows that are going to be crappy to see through. And... If you have any suggestions or know what I should do, I'd really appreciate it. Um, it's still a little bit that ways down the road, but I'd kind of like to get all my ducks in order and get everything I need should that happen. And uh, that's about it. So um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my officer's lounge. And uh, thanks for checking out my channel. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I could do lots of Star Trek stuff and lots of sci-fi, Transformers-related stuff. Uh, I'm just a big geek, so... Please, please join me on my channel, and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends. All right, guys, thank you very much. This is Captain Foley signing off. Bye-bye. Actually, just a quick postscript. While I was watching the video, I decided to um, go ahead and put the Constitution class uh, decal on the wall there. It'll focus. Focus, damn you. Anyway, you get the point. There you go. I went ahead and put that on the wall above the couch because I think that looks cool. Kind of a throwback to the old Enterprise. You'll be able to see it at some angles. So I think that's neat. So there you go, guys. That's what I did with my officer's lounge. Hope you guys like it. And, um,. <coughs> Please stay tuned for further updates because I'm going to start working on this thing very shortly. All right, now for real. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.